welcome back to Girl We Gotta Talk. I'm your host, Elena Jakes. Happy 2022, everybody. Um, wow, I have missed you guys so much. I feel like it's been forever since I've recorded an episode um, because it has been, but I am so excited to be back and I hope everyone had a great holiday season and a happy new year um, and you guys were able to spend it with your loved ones, families and friends, all of that good stuff. Um, and I hope that you missed the podcast at least a little bit because um, I definitely missed recording and putting out episodes every week. So again, I'm so happy to be back. I am so excited just for this next year. I feel like 2022, everyone is just hoping and praying that this year is better than the last. And not to say that 2021 was like anything super bad for me personally, but I'm definitely looking forward to the new year, the fresh start, um, and just excited to get things going again with the podcast. So um, I'm just excited to be here. Um, So I think today's episode is just going to be just like a quick catch up, talk about, um, you know, like a quick year recap, what I, you know, my thoughts of this past year, um, things that have happened to me in the last month or so, and kind of why I've been MIA, and then what I just have planned and set out for myself in the next year. I have a lot of goals and just things in general that I want to work on for me personally. Um, I'm going to share some of just my 2020 favorites. So just like actual, um, like things, if that makes sense, like tangible things. And then just things that I started doing this past year that I just really, really enjoyed. And I want to share with you guys. Um, and then I actually put up a QA and a box on my Instagram today, so I figured it'd be fun to answer some of your questions. You guys, I said literally no, nothing is off limits. Ask whatever you want, and we got a very random questions, and we got very random questions, which I'm excited about. So I'm definitely going to answer those at the end, so stick, stick around for sure to hear um, me answer your question. So I think we should just jump into today's episode. So, like I said, I feel like the year of 2021 was, I mean, I got to say, it's it was way better than 2020, obviously. Um, and, you know, we got the vaccine and people started going out again, seeing the light of day, getting to see their friends. And I think, like, life for a little bit got back to normal, which felt amazing. Um, and I'm just really grateful that that was, like, you know, we were able to do that. Um, I felt like this year, and especially because of the year of 2020 that we had, I was very intentional and I felt like I had a better, you know, idea of like what I wanted for myself in the year 2021. I wanted to surround myself, especially just with like, people that I loved and I wanted to do things and experience things even more than I, than I feel like I already am because if you guys listened to like a really old episode with um, Enneagram Ashton, which honestly, that was a really fun episode. If you are interested in Enneagrams, like definitely go check it out. Um, And she was great as well. Um, We talked about how I am an Enneagram 7, which means I just like really look forward to activities. I look forward to like the next thing. I look forward to adventure um, and just constantly doing things. Um, And so I think with 2021, I really... I ramped that up even more than it already is naturally just because I felt like I missed out on a lot of time with my family and time with my friends and being able to travel and do things. So I felt like 2021, I was like, okay, well, I'm just really going to like hit the gas and do it. Um, and I had so much fun doing it. And I, I think that like, as you grow older, you don't care as much about like the material things that you have. Um, you just care about like the experiences and doing new things. And for me, like that is something that I cherish because I feel like you can always return like a designer bag. You can always, you know, like buy a new one, buy a whole, you know, like you can always do that. You can't always get to see your friends and family and spend these times with them. So I had so much fun. I went on a couple of trips and just like I said, was super intentional with like everything I was doing. And I just really, like, I look back at all my photos and my videos and I'm like, wow, like, I really did have a good year and I'm so blessed that I can say that. So, like some of you know, I did move this year. Um, I moved in September and I I felt like that was a pretty big decision on my part. I was really looking forward to it, but it was also a very stressful 
um, you know, just time in my life of like payments and if I, am I making the right decision, things like that. And I can honestly say I think I made a great decision. I live with three of the best girls that I know, um, two of which I actually lived with in college and we were just best friends ever since. And um, the other one, she actually lived with the two of them um, in the house before. So the four of us have just had like so much fun. Um, I love being able to like live with girls again. I really miss that aspect because <laughs> um, we all just share each other's clothes and we have, you know, the wine nights and the deep conversations, but we also just hang out, have a great time. And I'm just really grateful for the three of them. Honestly, I feel like they've really made this year, like at least the end of this year, um, awesome. And I'm just really looking forward to the next year with them too at this house. Um, and there's just like a lot of memories being made here. So I'm just really grateful and, um, yeah, I'm happy with the the decision there. So if you're like itching to get out of the house that you've grown up in um, and you're not really sure where to go and you're nervous about it, I think you should just do it. And honestly, like I stayed at home just because of COVID and there was really no reason for me to go. Um, and then I thought, you know what? I don't feel like I'm growing anymore. And I'm very, very grateful that my family let me stay with them for as long as I did after college. Um and, you know, they would do anything for me. And I'm so appreciative of that. But at the same time, I really felt like if not now, then when? And I think I am a better version of myself now. And I think I appreciate the time that I have with my family even more because when I get to see them, it's not like, you know, I'm not living with them and I don't pick fights with them for no reason. I'm like getting to visit with them and it's a good time. And yeah, it was a great decision. So if you're on the edge of like, do I do it? Do I not do it? just do it. You know, you're young and um, you need to experience life on your own and you're not going to really fully be the adult that you can be if you don't make a jump like that. Um, And then not to say that it's like easy by any means because, you know, paying rent is a lot and, um, you know, being on my own in that way is definitely like hard sometimes. (laughs) You're like, wow, that's a lot of money I'm just giving away. Um, But it's a it's a great time and I feel like you really find yourself you get to discover yourself and um yeah I'm all for it I say you do it so after I moved in um my birthday is in October and I think I talked about that in an episode I really enjoyed my birthday I had such a good time with all my friends and my family um and then I went to Pittsburgh with my boyfriend TJ for his birthday his birthday is literally two weeks to the day right after mine Um, And so we went up to Pittsburgh for a Steelers game and he's a huge Steelers fan. Um, So that was so much fun. And I'm so glad that like I could give that to him um, because he has never been to a game, which is crazy to me. So we had such a blast. Um, And I actually have a ton of family in Pittsburgh. Um, All of my family from my mom's side lives there. So um, that was super fun getting to see some of my family. And um, so then fast forward to like the end of November, um, I was like really looking forward to Thanksgiving and seeing all my family again. Um, And unfortunately, my grandfather actually got really sick and was admitted to the hospital. Um, And he was just not doing well. I'm not going to get into like specifics, but um, basically, I'm just like super sick and was bouncing from like one hospital to another and then ended up in a rehab facility just because he was super weak from being in the hospital so long and um you know he was making like a ton of improvements and just looking really great and we were really excited um because Christmas is actually Christmas Eve is actually a huge um day for my family and I we're Italian and we have this huge Italian tradition where we like it's the seven fishes. So if you're Italian, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Um, you make seven fishes. So we fry like a bunch of fish and we do these donuts. Um, and we make like a seafood pasta. We make like a red sauce pasta. We fry, um, and bake, uh, cod and we have Italian sausage. Like it's a whole, it's a whole thing. It's literally my favorite day and his favorite day. Um, like, I'm not kidding. Like, I like it more than my birthday. Um, and Christmas itself, like Christmas Eve is way better than Christmas. So anyways, we were really like happy to see that he was improving because, you know, we wanted him to be a part of Christmas Eve a lot. Obviously he's like 
the focal point of it. He's the chef and he's the one that makes all of it. And, um, he's just the center of Christmas Eve. And I've always like loved that day because of him. Um, and so unfortunately he ended up passing away before Christmas Eve, um, which was really hard on me especially, but also just, I mean, really hard on my family on my mom. That's her father. And, um, I think because we saw like improvements in him, we obviously we were hoping for the best and we had our, maybe our hopes a little high, but, um, yeah, that was something that really hit me hard and I'm like still grappling with it. I think especially because this is my first grandparent to pass away. So it's even harder. I think it, it was one unexpected, but two, like I haven't been through this yet. So, um, going into Christmas was I was I don't know I was a little you know I was sad but I was also like you know what this is going to be a time for you know celebrating him and his favorite day um but I started to think like you know there are so many people that lose loved ones around this time or that just lose loved ones in general and when they get to the holidays like it's not always you know sunshines and rainbows it's it's a hard day because you you think about the people that you've lost and you wish that you had them with you um and so my heart goes out to anyone that has like a loved one that wasn't able to be here for this past holiday season and um i it's such a hard grieving process um and it's something that like i've really had to not deal with but like I've learned a lot about myself through this and, um, you know, if you're going through something similar, like I'm here for you and like, please send me a DM, please, um, let me know. Like if you want to talk, like I'm here, I think the best way to get through something like this is to talk about it. Um, so I'm really grateful for my family and my friends that have been there for me. Like I really do appreciate it because this is like probably one of the hardest things I've ever gone through in my entire life um, thus far. And I feel really, really grateful to have these people in my life, um, that literally will drop anything to be there for me. Like I am, I can't even put into words like how grateful I am for that. Um, so that's a big reason why I was kind of gone for a little bit just because I was going through all of that. And I, just wanted to like be with my family and be able to like spend the holidays with them and like uninterrupted and not really, you know, have to think about, oh, what am I going to put out for an episode? Like I felt so bad for like the last three weeks that I haven't put something out, but I just at the same time was like, I just need to, you know, be with family and, and appreciate the time that I have right now because this is like obviously a hard time for everyone. So thank you guys for being patient. I did get some DMs, um, about like, (laughs) did you mean to post an episode? And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, no, but like there will be something soon. So thank you guys so much for being patient. Like I really do appreciate it. And again, like if you are going through something like similar to me, please reach out. And if you just want to talk in general, like I'm always, um, a resource. Like I, I hate when I can, I hate when people feel like they're alone. Like if you don't have people in your life to talk to, like I can be that person. So, um, yeah, definitely feel free to reach out. Absolutely. We can talk about anything you want. So, um, yeah, just a quick update there. Um, and I think again, like with that, it's super important to surround yourself with good people because like I said, I'm, I'm really grateful that I had, the friends and family like around me during that time. And I feel like if I didn't have the people in my life that I do, like I would probably not be okay right now. Um, and I think that that's something like going into the new year to definitely think about like, who are the people in your life that are important to you? And like, do you feel safe with them? And do you feel like they would be there for you no matter what? Um, because I think as we grow up, we definitely like weed out the the bad eggs and you, and that's totally fine. Like I've had so many episodes where I've talked about, you know, friendships that either fade or friends that you realize like are not good people and are not good friends. And that's totally okay. Um, and I think as we grow up, we start to realize that like a little bit more. Um, and I feel like through this time, like I really, you know, saw like, okay, wow, like I'm really blessed to have these people in my life. So just something to think about in the next year. Like, um, I'm about to get to it in a little bit, but just like in this next year, like bettering ourselves, like that's definitely part of it is surrounding yourself with great people. So, 
again, thank you to like everybody that was there for me. I love you guys so much. Um, anyway, so we're going to move on to a more exciting topic. I wanted to talk about some of my 2021 favorites. Um, this is going to be definitely a lighter note because these are all super fun. I wanted to just share some things that I've like really enjoyed either using or doing. Um, and just like things that I've like started to do this past year that I wanted to share with you guys that I'm going to continue to like do and use and all that stuff. I just feel like these things are always fun to like hear what other people do and like use and stuff. I don't know. This is like, I'm just thinking about like TikTok and people are like, this is what I got on Amazon. This is how I feel. Um, number one, I think one of my favorite things of 2021, well, 2020, but also 2021 was, um, disposable cameras. I think disposable cameras have really made a comeback and I love that. Like, I love that for us. Like, thank you to whoever like started doing this again and reminding me that these are a thing. I'm obsessed with them. Like anytime I'm anywhere, like I have a disposable camera in my purse. I bring it to like parties. I bring it to like literally anything I'm doing. Like I have one on my person and it's so fun. I think, I don't know why, like I love these so much. I think one, it's like a nostalgia thing. Like I use these all the time when I was little. I have an an insane amount of albums, photo albums of my childhood from like Girl Scout camp and like field trips. And it's just, it's adorable to like to see the photos that I took. I mean, I'm looking rough, but like it's just fun to like look back and see those memories. And I also love the fact that it's not as staged as phones on or cameras on your phone cameras on your phone photos on your phone um you know like you're not standing like posing with your girlfriend it's just like a candid moment and I love that and then also the fun aspect of like not being able to see the photos until they're developed is just like a more exciting aspect to it so um these are just like I don't know I'm just obsessed with them and I have an entire album also that's the other thing like we take and you guys Fun fact about me, I have like 30,000 photos on my phone and I deleted 10,000. So like a couple months ago. So I am a picture hoarder, but I also just take photos everywhere I go because I love like looking back at memories like that. And I, I try to be intentional with it. Like I'm, I'm not on my phone all the time, but like I like to, you know, snap quick photos or quick videos just because I'm like, oh, I'm really enjoying this moment. Um, but with disposables, it's super fun because then you can print them out and really have like the tangible photo. And I feel like we miss out on that with the iPhone. Like I'll print them out and put them in frames, but there are so many photos that just sit on my phone that no one sees. So I love that you can just like print them out, put them in a little album and it's so cute. Um, and so I have like a personal one. And then also like with, um, the girls that I live with, we have a photo album of just like all the photos that we have together and all of our friends and stuff. So that's like our coffee table book and it's super fun to like go through. So definitely invest in some disposable cameras. Um, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Walmart, Target, like literally anywhere. Walgreens, I think CVS probably has them. And, um, we de- I developed them through dark room. So I feel like that's the best option. I've developed them through Walgreens. Like they send it to another company and it's, it comes back like so bad. Um, I hate the coloring of them. They look really poor, like bad quality. And, um, I've gone through dark room. So just go to like darkroom.com and then like develop them there and they send it to you digitally. And then you can like print them out through CVS or Walgreens or wherever you want to then. But yeah, I just love disposables. Go get yourself some. Um, (laughs) the next favorite is just, um, what is the next one? It's just travel. And I talked about this earlier. Like I love just like up and going to literally anywhere. And I think with being able to work remote in these days, it's a lot easier to do that. Like I can work in the car or, you know, work at the place that I'm at, like be in a hotel or be in a, in Airbnb or wherever it is and just be able to work. And then like, spend time with the people I'm traveling with. So it's definitely been like a convenient thing for sure. And I think saying yes to trips, like although like you're spending money and stuff, you can find good deals and traveling is so much fun. Like I feel like you learn about yourself a lot. Like you are able to just experience things you've never experienced. You're spending time with people that you love. Like it's just a straight up, it's a good time. Um, And I have a lot of travel goals in the next year, so I'm super excited. But I think 2021, like, gave me that bug because I was, like, like I said earlier, I was trying to do even more than I had been doing um, since we lost out on so much in 2020. So, yeah, I think I'm a big, like, Airbnb girl. I'm a big Verbo girl. 
um that's really easy to find like cheap deals and like houses and stuff for your like your group of friends um and then everyone just splits it and I don't know it just makes things a little bit more fun like finding a cute house and like all staying together um and like being in a new city I think it's super fun so I'm um, definitely looking forward to like what I'm gonna be able to do in this next year but yeah Another favorite of mine this year, or 2021, was Haley Joel, and Haley Joel actually came on my podcast, I think it was last year at some point, I don't even remember the month, but um, I actually found Haley on TikTok, and I instantly, like, resonated with her. I don't know what it was, but I was like, I love this person, like, this girl is it, and, like, she is an incredible singer, an incredible writer. She writes like the way that she writes her songs like gives me goosebumps I feel like each song is a story and it's a story that for some reason resonates with me like every song she writes I'm like oh I have the exact scenario like it's crazy and she's so freaking talented um and I'm so grateful to like call her a friend now and I feel like she is on the up and up and I cannot recommend her songs more to anyone like my boyfriend the other day commented on it because I was listening to her songs on repeat. Like, I think he's starting to know them, um, which is great. He should know them. But I listen to her, like, when I'm showering. I listen to her when I'm driving, when I'm working. Like, her music is on all the time. Um, and I just, I am so excited to see where she's going to go. She's going to be releasing new music um, here soon. And actually, she's re- releasing a new song on... I think it's January 13th and it's called Memory Lane. She saw like this sign I think or this like quote and it said something about like going down memory lane because you want to see some someone again. That was such a bad description but it's about well it's really about however you want it to whoever you want it to be about but for me I felt like that was it was the timing was so weird. It was right when my grandfather had passed away and she had put that out on TikTok and started writing a song to it and everyone begged her to finish the song and it's just about like kind of thinking back down memory lane and wanting to visit you know someone that you once loved or maybe a loved one or a friend or whoever and it brought all those emotions back up for me with my grandfather and I felt like like how does she do this like how does she know what I'm going through so um really really great stuff if you need any music I always find I love finding new artists but Haley Joel is like amazing and she's so humble and she's such a sweetheart so um definitely go check out her music for sure you guys will not be disappointed I promise you um and then another favorite is um stress relief (laughs) this is like I told you these are random stress relief um the eucalyptus and spearmint body lotion from bath and body works it's the aromatherapy body lotion (laughs) It literally, I'm looking at it right now. It sits on my desk by my computer um, and it really gets me through the day. I now have an in, like body wash for it, which I love. And anything this scent is just heaven. Um, candles with this scent, amazing. Like you really can't go wrong. It makes you feel so calm. Um, and honestly, like puts me to ease. Like I'm not even kidding. Um, especially like in a shower, like this is the perfect scent. Like, it's so good. Like, after a night of, like, or, like, a day of, like, work and stress, like, this is the perfect way to end your night. Like, showering with this body wash, like, chef's kiss. Definitely buy it. Like, I swear to God, buy it. Um, (laughs) and then, okay, guys, like, not gonna, like, you know, brag or anything. I'm just kidding. But another favorite was definitely my merch. I felt so grateful to even, like, feel confident enough to release merch and I'm so happy with how it turned out and I'm really glad you guys were able to get something. I think the sale is still up. I I thought I had it on an extended thing but I think I just like let it run free so I think everything is still available. Definitely go grab something if you haven't already. Um, The Girl We Gotta Talk podcast merch. So it comes in like a bunch of colors and I got one in it's like a XXL or just an XL or something like that because I love my hoodies like huge on me um and it's white and it's super comfy like when I want to be comfortable I put this on and it goes with anything like my friend bought one and um you know you can wear it with a vest you can wear it under your jacket um you could probably cut it and make it cropped if you wanted to 
Um, and then there's also crew necks and long sleeves. So definitely snag yourself one. This is a great gift too. Um, you know, if you're like, if you love the podcast and your boyfriend wants to get you one, like he's definitely a great boyfriend if he does that. And, if, <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the link is in my bio. If you still want to grab your, yourself a hoodie, definitely do it. Um, but thank you again to everyone that did buy stuff. You guys are amazing. Um, and thank you for tagging me when you wear it. Like it makes me so happy. Like seriously, it really, it makes me blush. Thank you so much. Um, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. All right, so moving into my 2022 goals, I'm just going to run down this list pretty quickly. Um, I am really excited, like I've said, for this next year. I feel like I have, I feel like right now, and to be honest, like I feel really just confused right now. Um, I'm just going to be frank. I feel like with like my career and just what I'm doing in life, <laughs> um, I feel I'm getting in this like phase where I'm just like, what am I doing, right? But I hit that every couple months where I'm just like, do I like my job? Do I like where I'm at in life? Am I happy with this? Am I happy with that? And I think that's normal. I think it's good to like evaluate like your life every now and then and just like sit back and think about, are you happy? What could you be doing that, you know, would make you happier? Um, things like that. And I think right now my biggest goal is like a health goal. I think, um, like obviously through the holidays, it's really hard to like stay on track with your health goals. Um, and I feel like, I really like lost sight of that. Um, so for 2022, I definitely want to just be better about my workouts again. I was working out six days a week, every single day or like every, yeah, I was working out six days a week, every week. And I was absolutely loving it. Um, and I use like, that was like my me time. And I've talked about that before where like, I really looked forward to working out. I feel like it makes you happier. Like you just feel so good after if it's like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, like whatever it is or whatever movement you're doing, like you just feel good after it. And like, that's just facts. Like that's science, that's endorphins, that's like, it's proven. Like it, you just feel amazing. And I loved the feeling afterwards and I felt accomplished. And I felt like even if I didn't do a ton that day, like at least I did that. And I loved that. Um, and so it turned into like, obviously I started doing it, working out like a couple years ago, like religiously and like really getting into like, my health goals that I had set out for myself, um, health and fitness goals and starting to eat right. And like, I was loving it. And I feel like the last couple months, like since I moved in, I've just been like, you know, living my life and not necessarily like super focused on, um, what I was putting into my body. Um, and I was also just drinking a lot more, which I think we can all relate to, like going out and drinking and like getting, you know, food and drinks with your friends, like, that's a social thing, like, it's a hard thing to just not do, um, and so I'm just gonna try and find more balance with that, but as long as I, like, can really stick to working out six days a week, um, I'm gonna be, I feel like I'm gonna be golden, um, and then my other goal kind of with that is to just walk or move and do something every single day, so whether that's, like, like, literally just 30 minutes ago, I got back from walking to the grocery store, um, Granted, there's snow on the on the road, so that's kind of part of it. But, like, to me, like, that's the thing I did today. And I just want to make sure that, like, every single day, like, I'm doing some sort of movement because it just makes you happier. It makes you feel better. And the days that I'm sitting around working for, like, eight, nine straight hours, like, I don't feel good afterwards. Like, I feel like a blob. And then it's, like, I'm too tired to start the workout. And I know that we all face that because we all have – most of us have nine to fives and – I should start saying eight to five because I don't know who starts at nine. It's not me. Um, but you know, we get stuck. We get stuck at our desk. We don't really do much and it's hard to get motivated. So, um, if you want to, you know, start doing something active every single day or start doing workouts every single day or six days a week or th honestly, it doesn't even have to be six days a week, but if you want to start doing this, like know that like I'll be doing it too. Um, and we can be each other's motivation. So that's definitely something I want to implement in this next year. And I've done it before. Like I just took a little baby break, um, which is totally fine and normal, but I want to kind of get back into the swing of things and um, and yeah, and just feel better about myself. So, um, kind of with that, actually, my next goal was to do something for me once a day. And that can be anything, honestly. Um, yesterday, something that I did for myself was I took a long shower 
And, you know, the kind where you're just like, you scrub everything, you shave everything, you actually wash your hair, um, and you just listen to music and you use your stress relief, aromatherapy, bath, bath and body works, uh, body wash. I'm just kidding. Um, and yeah, you just like have, you know, a good like long shower where you just like think about life. Um, I, so I did that and I journaled yesterday and I kind of set out like all of these goals for myself that I'm telling you right now, um, last night and I didn't go on my phone and I didn't watch TV before I went to bed. And that was something that I did for myself. So I am just going to do that every single day. Not necessarily that, but it could be, I could make a meal for myself that I like really enjoy. I could watch the real housewives, Um, and that could be something that I did that day for me. Um, you know, just like little things that I'm like actually being intentional about, um, that I'm doing for myself because, um, I'm definitely the type of person that if I'm with people, like I want to not necessarily please them, but I'm very go with the flow and I will do something with others for them. Um, and sometimes I lose sight of like, okay, well, what did I actually want to be doing right now? So I'm just going to try and implement that once a day to just do something for me. Um, and I think that's just going to make like a real difference in my everyday. So I think that's just something important that like you guys could do too, if you're interested. Um, it could be literally anything like going on a walk, listening to a podcast, like listening to music, like literally anything that you enjoy, do it that day. Um, and I think that that's really going to be like a game changer. Okay, so moving into the Q&A part of today's episode, um, thank you to everyone that wrote in questions. I'm actually really excited to answer some of these um, great questions. So let me pull these up really fast. We had a bunch come in um, about Starbucks, actually, funny enough. So I am going to go ahead and tell you guys. Let's see. I think there were a lot of just like, what is your order? What's your... Yeah, what's your go-to order? What's your order? Um, okay, yep. So my like normal go-to order is actually just a um, cold brew with almond milk and three pumps of vanilla. Or I'll do um, just an iced vanilla latte with like meat, depending on the day, an extra shot or two of espresso. Um, so I just like love like pretty much anything um, vanilla flavored. But in the winter time... I am just obsessed with the peppermint syrup, so I feel like I'm just drinking Christmas, and it makes me so happy. So, it's basically the same thing as I just said. Like, it's just a cold brew. Pretty much every time I go to Starbucks, I get a venti. So, it's a venti cold brew with um, a splash of almond milk and three pumps of peppermint syrup. So, I love it. It's only like four bucks, um, and it is pumps me up but I went to Starbucks the other day and they didn't have oh wait yes they did they did have peppermint but I was sad because I think it's gonna end soon so um yeah that's my go-to order that's pretty much like my order almost every time I used to always get like a caramel macchiato but I just can't do that anymore and I feel like it doesn't do anything for me like caffeine wise um so I just like love a good latte love a good like cold brew. Um, I did like the nitro cold brew with like sweet foam or sweet cream, something or other. And I did not enjoy that. So yeah, that's my go-to. Okay. Someone asked, what are your goals for 2022? So I just kind of mentioned all of them, but I think like overall my goals for 2022 are just to better myself in every way possible. So whether that's health and fitness wise, whether that's like my personal life with my relationship or my friends, um, whether that's career wise, um, I just want to be the best that I can be the best version of myself. And I think every year I just want to be better and better, um, and happier and happier. So that's my goal, I think for the next year. Um, okay. Someone asked favorite, what is your all time favorite season of the bachelor? Okay. So this is kind of tricky. I mean, there's been like 6 million seasons. It feels like, um, I would say my favorite seasons of the bachelor. Does that mean bachelor or bachelorette? I hope so. Because I'm about to say two bachelorettes. Um, 
One Bachelorette season I loved because I love her so much is JoJo. I think JoJo is an absolute gem of a woman. I think she is just, she is great. Like, I love her personality. I loved her style. I loved how she handled situations. Like, I aspire to be her. Like, she is amazing. I think she's stunning. And I think that season overall was just, like, a great one to watch. I also really like, and this is an OG Bachelorette, Desiree. She was on Sean Lowe's season. She was, like, the fourth person to get kicked off of Sean's season. And um, she was just a fan favorite. And I loved her so much. She's a wedding dress designer. And I feel like she's just, like, living her best life. She's married. She has, like, a couple kids um, still designing wedding dresses for people and just, like, living her best life. And honestly, like, I feel like we are so wrapped up in Bachelor Nation now where everyone is just, like, interconnected. And I feel like JoJo and Desiree have just really made, like, a life for themselves post-Bachelor. Like, they're not caught up in Bachelor Nation anymore. Um, I think they're both, like, heavily respected, for, uh, like, with Bachelor Nation, but they're not, like going to all these events they're not like in the drama anymore like they're past it they like built their lives after the show which I think is the whole point so I just love them so much I'm sure I'm like gonna forget people but like those are like the two that really stuck out as far as like bachelors I I just mentioned Sean Lowe I really liked his season a lot I felt like he's a great guy and he had a great season um I actually did not I was actually really pissed off that he picked Catherine like when I was watching the season like I remember like screaming at my television because of it I really wanted the other girl and now I can't even remember the other girl's name um and now I'm just like obsessed with them and I understand his decision (laughs) I mean he knows himself more than I know him so like it's totally fine um But I love their family. They have the cutest kids. He's hilarious on Instagram. If you don't follow him, definitely do. Like, his caption game is unmatched. Um, And they're just living, like, a happy little life. So, love Sean and Catherine. I think they're adorable. And I thought his season was, like, decent. So, um, pretty much every other Bachelor, like, really irritates me. So, I can't really say much on that. Um, Who else did I like? Oh, I liked Ben Higgins. I like Ben. But he just, like... He told JoJo and Lauren that he liked her, like, that he was in love with both of them, and I just didn't, I could not deal with that. Um, But, yeah, I think that answers that. I don't know. I feel like I'm definitely going to listen back to this, and, like, or, like, later I'm going to think to myself, like, I should have said someone else, but those are the people that I can think of now. Um, Okay, let me, would you ever do lifestyle videos on YouTube or TikTok? Do you mean, like? like vlogs um yeah I mean I love video content I actually do that as like a side business so I love like filming other people I love like documenting my life like I said earlier I have 30,000 photos on my phone (laughs) that's so embarrassing um so I could definitely see myself doing something like that um I also am just like known for adding more shit to my plate so I definitely like I wouldn't probably say no to doing that um but I don't know if that's something that like people would actually be interested in I might do more like lifestyle looking videos on TikTok I feel like right now I'm still trying to figure out like where I want to go with TikTok I just do like like funny voiceover ones um but I've sort of implemented like lifestyle videos on that so maybe I'll do that if you guys are interested maybe I'll put something up on my Instagram story and see if you guys are like actually interested um and if you don't follow me on TikTok already you definitely should it's just Elena Jake's um, and I think it's probably linked somewhere in my show notes, but, um, yeah, definitely check me out on, on TikTok. Also, I'm on YouTube, like the podcast you can watch on YouTube just for reference, um, which I'm sure you probably know cause you just mentioned YouTube, but I, I always post the episodes there. So if you're more of a visual person, like you can definitely just go watch the episode. Um, cause I think sometimes that's a lot more fun to just like watch than listen. So yeah. Hopefully that answers your questions. Um, All right. The next one is, do you have any siblings? And if so, how many? Um, Yeah, I actually have two siblings. I have two younger brothers. One is actually about to turn 22 in March. And then the other one is 14. So, um, yeah, the younger one, we have a 10-year age gap. 
which is pretty crazy, but um, I love him so much, and I'm actually so grateful to have him as a brother. I remember when he was born, I was, like, so confused that we were getting a sibling. Um, <laughs> when I was 10, I was like, That's, what's happening? But I love him so much. He's the best thing I think that ever happened to our family, and very grateful for both of them. Um, my my The older one, like, we grew up together. We were obviously really close in age, two, three years apart, Um, and I think he's made me into the person that I am today. So yeah, two, two siblings, two boys, two brothers. I wish I had a sister though. Like I always wished I had an older sister actually. Like I wish that I had someone to go to just with like life stuff and like boys and stuff, which I would always go to my mom. Like my mom and I are super close and we have a great relationship, but sometimes I was just like, oh, I wish I had a sister that could just like chill with me in my room and like tell me about like all of her boyfriends. And, you know, I just wanted someone to like look up to in that way. Um, but I'm really grateful for the siblings that I have and yeah. Also, it is sometimes nice to be the only girl because then it's like, I don't know, it's just nice. Um, <laughs> what is, okay, sorry, I'm just going to read the question. What is your favorite food? Okay, easy question. Um, my favorite food, yeah, I just like food in general. So this is actually, actually not easy, Elena. Um, my favorite food, I would say is, oh God, tacos. I love tacos, like any sort of like... Mexican food I'm obsessed with like I would eat it every single day of the like week if I if I could um I also love like a good cheeseburger I never really eat cheeseburgers anymore and I get like cravings for them all the time at least lately I have so maybe it's time I eat a cheeseburger um I okay so tacos I love burgers um I'm a I love pizza like I love a really really good pizza um what else? I'm definitely like gonna forget something. Um, yeah, I feel like that's it. That's like super basic sounding. Oh, I'm also just like on a pasta kick right now. Um, but yeah, okay, that answers that. Um, oh my god, this person, yeah, this person literally just asked, What's your favorite pasta? Okay, great. I, um, okay, so this is actually tricky and actually. Something weird about me is that I, so my, like I said earlier, my family's Italian. And so like my mom would always make like spaghetti sauce. We would have like spaghetti on Sundays and like she freezes her sauce and like we'll have like big Italian meals like all the time um, at home. And so like anytime I would go out, I like never got Italian food because I always had it at home. And I knew that I probably wouldn't like it as much as like my mom's, um, like my homemade, you know, spaghetti, my homemade like pasta and meatballs, like all of that. And So, but lately, like, I've been getting pasta a lot, like, out, and I don't know, like, I really just love, like, I love a good, like, carbonara, like, I love, um, pesto anything, like, pesto penne with, like, mushrooms, tomatoes, and, like, grilled chicken, like, that is, like, I love that meal, I could eat that probably every day, too. Um, yeah, I feel like that's a good answer. I feel like I'm just gonna list every single pasta, because I just like them all, but. Um, what is the last thing that made you cry? Ooh. All right. So to be honest, I cried yesterday because, (laughs) uh, because I thought I was getting snowed in. I was in a different city with my boyfriend and I needed to go home. Um, I had visited, I basically been living out of my suitcase for the past like three weeks. Um, and I just wanted to go back, back home. And then we woke up and we were snowed in. So I was just having a panic attack, basically. Like, I'm not going to be able to leave. I have to do this. I have to do that. Like, just having, like, a freak out. Um, and I feel really bad about that one because, like, he couldn't really do anything. And you know what? He didn't do anything to deserve that. So, um, yeah, yesterday I – yeah. Oh, well. Um – Ooh, you guys, these are good questions. I don't know which one to answer. Do you wear makeup every day? Um, no, I don't. Like, I'm not wearing makeup right now. I pretty much, like, I try not to wear makeup, like, during the week. Like, if I'm not doing anything, there's no point in, like, putting makeup on my face. Um, my skin is actually just, like, going through something right now. Like, I'm not sure, like, what we did to her, but she's not happy. And so, because of that, I just don't want to, like irritate her more, um, by putting makeup on it for no reason. But 
I love makeup. I love doing my makeup. I love doing other people's makeup. Um, so, like, I enjoy it. But, like, if I don't have to wear it, like, I won't wear it. Um, and I definitely want to, like, get to that point where, like, I just don't feel like I need it. But, like, I don't know if that will ever come. I don't know if that day will ever come. Um... How often do you get manicures? Your nails always look so nice. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Um, I get manicures probably like every month. I feel like lately they've been like lasting a long, long time. I do like the dip, um, the SNS like dip powder. And I feel like that makes them last way longer. Um, they'll last like probably like a month or like a month and a week. Um, but by that point, like I, they're definitely a little bit grown out and like they don't look as good, but they're like none of them break. Um, as I say this, I remember as I'm looking at my nail that I did close the door on my finger yesterday and it's half of it's off. So, but other than that, like they last a long time and I really, really like it. I feel like it's like a way better investment than like getting gel nails every single like two weeks. Um, cause that's what I was doing at one point cause they were literally breaking so fast. And then finally the, like one of the nail ladies was like, hun, you just should just do SNS again. Like I know you didn't like it, but like you should do it. And she was right and I love her for that so thank you Jasmine she's great um but yeah I don't know I was gonna say something about SNS making your nails weak but honestly if you're getting them done like all the time it doesn't really matter because in the moment they're strong um but let me know what you guys get also I love like seeing nail photos like I love getting like inspo for like colors and like designs and stuff I've never done a design though so maybe I should do that but yeah, I love getting manicures. I feel like that's like, that is something that I do for myself. That could be like the something I do for me once a day. Well, I'm not going to do it every day, but anywho. Okay. Um, who's the more romantic one in your relationship? Ooh, relationship question. I knew there was going to be one in here. I knew it. You guys always ask about him. Um, who is the more romantic one? Okay. I would say me. I don't know though like I'm romantic in different ways like I feel like I'm like the gift person like I love to like give gifts and I love to like treat him and like do different things for him like that like I feel like I'm the more creative one when it comes to things like that so like in my eyes like that's being more romantic because I'm doing things like out of the box or like different I'm in like thoughtful but he is like constantly supporting me constantly like telling me like he is such a words of affirmation guy that, like, I'm constantly being, like, loved and um, I always feel appreciated by him and I feel like he's so romantic in that way. So, I don't know. It's kind of like a toss-up, I feel like. I feel like it's kind of, it's how you look at things. Um, but, yeah. Um, okay. I feel like this is getting to be a long episode. I'm going to answer, like, one more question. Um, all right, I'll do it. One of my roommates actually sent in a question and she said, who is your favorite roommate? And because you sent in a question, it's you, babe. Love you. <laughs> um, anyways. All right. So that is today's episode. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble for close to an hour. Oh my God. If you're still here, I love you so much. Thank you. Um, I'm so excited for this next year. I hope that all of us have um, a great 2022. I feel like everyone deserves a great year and deserves happiness in their lives. And you know what, with the goals that I have set, like, and if you want to follow along with my goals and have similar goals, like we're going to be able to make that happen together. And I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm excited for the guests that are going to be coming on this year and this new season. And, um, thank you for listening. I so appreciate you. Oh my goodness. Again, if you want to grab some merch, go ahead and check out the link in my bio. You can go grab you one and your friend um, because she'll love it and you'll be a great friend for it. So yeah, that is today's episode. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for listening. Be sure to subscribe to Girl We Gotta Talk on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere you get your podcasts. That way you never miss a new episode. You can also follow Girl We Gotta Talk on Instagram at Girl We Gotta Talk Podcast and on Twitter at GWGT Podcast for live tweeting and all your favorite pop culture updates. If you want to watch full episodes, check out Girl We Gotta Talk on YouTube and find all of your favorite episodes over there. 
If you liked today's episode, head over to Apple Podcasts, hit the five stars or leave a review and let me know what you thought. I seriously love hearing your feedback. It really means the world to me. Thank you guys again so much for listening and talk to you guys next week. Bye.